Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here. It's kind of early. Had to get up off that rack. I was thinking about those kids in Ukraine. They're talking about thousands of them scattered everywhere. Parents dead. Parents, you don't know where they are. Children separated here. You don't know where they are. They, some of them are dead. Scattered all across certain parts of the earth. Oh, my friends, just think about maybe not too long ago, the people in Ukraine were getting up, going to work, doing those same kinds of things that people across the world do every day, going to school, going to church, taking care of this and taking care of that, just like you do in your homes, in your neighborhoods, in your towns. But having a month pass or so, the buildings destroyed destroyed the work of years, tens of years, maybe hundreds of years, I don't know, just structure that's built up, brought down to rubble. Your city, look at your city, brought down to rubble. Think about that. Then think about messing up your order, your daily order. Now you don't have the same routines anymore. You don't wake up, you don't know where you're going. Do you have to dodge bombs? Do you have to Dodge destruction. What are you going to do with your kids now? What are you, how are you going to protect them? Can you avoid this? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to think for a moment. All of that stuff that those Ukrainian people are going through. Imagine we as individuals or families had to go through that same stuff. And watch the television. And watch this one man. I don't know if I was really structured. This one man walking around his suit on and his necktie. Short as me. Walking around destroying this country, just destroying this country. One man with his meanness, with his evilness, with his ugliness, and he's destroying these people's lives, killing these people, and the rest of the world is sitting back looking at him, giving these folks some water and some food, maybe some bombs to fight back. But that's not stump. Look, nobody's bombing Russia. No buildings being destroyed in Russia. Those people in Russia not being displaced uh, because of bombs or stuff like this. And the rest of the world, we, my brothers, we are brothers keeper. We are watching, sitting back watching those things. And I'm telling you, I see this stuff, but I see it not as an American. I see it as a Ukrainian sitting up hoping I could depend on an American. It reminds me of a woman that's being beat up by somebody on the street that's knocking her teeth out. And men walking around looking at her, standing on the sideline, wondering what to do. Man, leave her alone. Leave her alone. And nobody would do anything. It's like when George Floyd was on the ground. Man's knee on his neck. The other guy's on his back, on his leg. Everybody just ganged up on him. Nobody had no compassion for him. People stood up, took the camera, took the pictures. All that dead good is for what's going on now. What is going on now? I don't think about nothing. Somebody got to pay some money, but that's about it. But people standing up there taking the camera, taking pictures, standing there looking, saying, don't do that. That's what America's doing. That's what the world is doing right now while the knee of a murderer is on the neck of the Ukrainian people. And we are sitting around there talking about something. And we got pictures of it. We got pictures of it. All it took was somebody to throw a brick on Coven's neck, Coven's head, and knock him off that guy. A run over there and jump on him. Just knock him off. You could have saved that man's life just by pushing him, pushing this guy the way. Them pictures didn't mean nothing about saving that man's life. P taking pictures of Ukraine, sending stuff over there, doing nothing about saving those people's lives. You need to get up off your butt and do something. Stop that monkey from over there killing these people. You killed Dr. King for loving folks. And this man ran there killing thousands of people, and we sitting back looking at him. Now, I'm not saying that you got to kill him. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying you can take away his power by ignoring his butt. Look at those guys over there taking their hand, pulling triggers, killing people, shooting bombs, shooting bullets, killing people. Average citizens like me, like you, following orders. Who can, what kind of people are we? What are we? We are we're worse than, look, I got a little, what? Some kind of little dog running around the house. And it seems that we as human beings are just like little dogs. Whatever somebody teach you to do, whatever somebody tell you to do, that's what you walk around here doing. You're not human beings. You're not, we're not human beings standing up led by God with some spirit and compassion for one another. I don't know what the devil we are. Maybe that's what we are. Devils. Well, 
I feel a little bit better since I just woke up and got that little pressure off me. So I'm going to go, well, I won't go back to bed now. I'll go get a cup of coffee. And I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Goodbye.